Hi there and welcome to Story Time with Uncle Bill. And uh, probably for about four or five workout videos, I said I was going to show my damn feet with these damn fights, and I haven't. Um, so let me show that right quick before we even get this video started. It's been, uh, I think it's been about two days. Gonna live. Uh, probably wasn't the best idea. Sure, doesn't amount to much. <laughs> but that's all right. We'll go bigger. If that's what it takes. But if you were wondering, or if you haven't seen, here's my gunshot wound. Kind of look like a bow. Crazy, right there. Well, I got them toes good. Alright. Alright, let's see. Shoot back up on the stand. Let's see the folks. Took a minute. Alright, let's try it again. Hi there and welcome to Story Time with Uncle Bill. And uh, today's what, the 25th? A year to get fit, fit in a year. <laughs> I don't even know my title. Road to Six Pack Abs. We'll be doing some chest today. It's the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, so what's that make it Black Friday? Just leave the house. Yeah, I did it. I went and walked the dog. Um, picked my laundry up. Need some Kool-Aid right quick. But I'm pretty disappointed in myself. I'm dehydrated. Um, that's horrible. Like I said, it's probably one of the worst things you can be. It's one of those things where you're never, it's just like never good for you. It's like, yeah, I'm dehydrated. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. No, it's not. You're, you're really hurting yourself. Setting yourself up for bad things. I took care of that. And if you are you ever find yourself dehydrated, one of the ways you could tell if you don't know, you start getting them cramps, especially if you got leg cramps at night. It's a great sign of dehydration. Not rest, not uh, restless leg syndrome, but cramps. Good reason. And look, um, you're thinking, well, if I drink a bunch of water now, then I'll be having to pee all night and I won't get no sleep. It's better to do that than put your kidneys and the rest of your body I, it helps filter toxins and stuff. If it's not filtered, then what happens to it? Get stuck, bogs up things. There's just no good thing. Kidney stones. Your kidney really needs water. And your blood needs it too. I hate myself for that. Always have it, man. Just you never can get enough. That's why they got IV bars if you never heard of one. Um, where they put some old blood in you, or put some water in your blood, some saline and stuff. I've never done one, but I know the difference between, you know, I've been to the hospital and they're like, oh, you know, you're dehydrated, we'll put this bag in you, you feel like a new person. And most of the time, like if you don't have energy and feel sluggish and something wrong, most of the time it is because you're dehydrated, you just don't realize it. Drink some pickle juice too. You get cramps, pickle juice will help. Vinegar really helps out. Way more than you think it would. Man, don't be dehydrated. You know how mad I am at myself? All you got to do is drink. And if you do find yourself dehydrated all the time, it actually could mean you have diabetes and you might want to get that checked. That's an early sign if you didn't know. Uh, what we're we doing today? We're gonna do some chest. How are we gonna do it? 
Uh, let's go off the toe with June first. If I could edit, would I edit that out? I'll just keep it real life. Didn't take that long, did it? Last time we did that, we had clanking weights. That's always great. All right, remember, if you want to do exercise, the first thing you do is the heaviest first, which would be that flat bar right there, or that long bar. That's an easy curl, but it would be a long bar. Uh, yeah, it's probably way more than that. Let's see. You coming up, blow out. Down in. I'm going to super settle. I'm going to twist up and then don't bang the weights. Squeezing at the top. In through the nose, out through the mouth. So I've been working hard to get my friends involved and family and stuff. And uh, a lot of people say they're down. And there was a couple of times I went to do things. And, uh, you know, either it was, it just wasn't conducive to video. And, um, but I got some of the cool kind of folks. Uh, uh, just a little surprise. Um, Something I bet you never guess. Um, it's gonna be a lot of videos. Uh, I mean, something really a little special. Really been looking forward to it. Um, I've been trying a couple months, and uh, I think I think we're gonna make this happen. Call a little surprise, special, special little surprise, something, something along those lines. It's coming. Twist, really squeeze at the top. Then it says I'm going to be doing crazy things. I'm going to bring a, a nurse up into the mix. And I got a, quite a few uh, friends that are nurses, so um, you don't never know who those are all RNs to. Uh, maybe uh, 
know when I'm doing hop challenges and uh, check my temperature and pulse to see if, if I'm freaking out or not or like when I did the ant challenges to give me a uh, wound aftercare because um, believe me I've contacted them um, but it is the holidays so it's hard to get up with but that's all right all that's coming all that's coming um, it's gonna be fun let's do some uh some flies bring it together get out like you're doing a hug hug it up don't bang the weight as close as you can get it that's part of the you know when they say squeeze it it's how you got to concentrate not to hit it so don't tell i would just leave the gap Come up, make that chest work, squeeze it together. Chest should be slower. Um, I think there's gonna be a Christmas special, maybe a couple of different ones. Pretty sure we're gonna have a giveaway. Instead of we, that means me and y'all. Uh, some cool stuff too. At least I think it is. <laughs> it ought to be fun. Stay tuned. It's, it's, it's all coming. I don't think any of it's going to have to do with workout stuff, but, uh, man, I'm looking forward to it. I like Christmas time. Christmas time has always been a fun time for me. Uh, most people don't know it because my mama puts my Christmas tree up. There. If you see a Christmas tree up here, my mama puts it up. It just is what it is. And she's been doing that my whole life. Straight up. <clears throat> No buy humbug, just never put up like I put up lights for everybody else. 50, 60 people every year. I'm good at it. Matter of fact, I feel some of those I have too. Um I forgot about them. I've got uh, SD cards, bunch of videos, folks. I forgot I got those light videos, though. Yeah. You know, tell them what I have. I know I got uh, some yellow jackets tore me up on the landscaping job one time. And uh, <laughs> I had some work gloves in my back pocket. I was cutting up some trees, old uh, R.W. appreciate this. I was cutting up some trees and um, there was a, uh, what do you call that thing? It was a tractor, a backhoe, not a backhoe, but a, a bush hog, a tractor and a bush hog. And he had cut right on the outskirts of the wood line. And I was, I was smoke, uh, yeah, I was out there. Yeah, what? No, I wasn't smoking there. I was doing something and uh I might have been smoking the joints what I might have been smoking. But anyway, this years ago. And um I stepped on a damn yellow jacket pile. They tore me up too, man. I mean they just they assaulted me. It was horrible. Well, in the process of me taking off, my work gloves fell out of my back pocket. And I got the video. Man, there must be hundreds of my thing just tearing my gloves up. Pretty incredible. But that's all, that's all the photos I got. I might have got it where I torched them. They had to go. The champagnes, put them together, straight up, straight down. Same breathing. Where's the inner chest? I 
messed it up like 15 times. Suck. <clears throat> and they chase you so long, man. It just keeps stinging you, too. Because they hit the pheromones on you so everybody knows where to go. Called it the homing in party. <laughs> there he goes. They're not trying to be your friends at all. I mean, not at all. And if you look, so I remember one time I just saw one he was just stinging me. I could see his stinger just going. I just looked at him. I was like, man, you're a brave little dude. I'm so much bigger than you. Like I did those ants. Amazing the amount of pain those little things cause. <laughs> no, that was a bumblebee. Most I didn't even know really they stung. The only time I ever got stung was when I stepped on them. And I fight them all the time. Um, like the wood board, wood board bees, because they're everywhere. Best thing to do is hit them with a tennis racket. Or a racquetball. To destroy everything you got porch deck your damn soffit This is embarrassing. It's like not even 20 pounds, I don't think. <laughs> but if you use your mind tight, it's gonna be a me. Closely you hold it from the bar where it's more your inner chest and tricep. The wider the outer part of your chest. First sign of dehydration is thirst. Just consider like the, you know, when your car got the, the warning light come on, you're already in trouble. And it might not seem like it's detrimental to your health, but just, oh, I'm thirsty. It's a bad sign. Especially the older you get, you got to really consider it's a bad sign. It means you're not doing what it is you're supposed to do to maintain your body. And as long as it's on you, you can always blame yourself. Don't blame yourself for this. This ain't worth it. Matter of fact, anything that's detrimental to your health ain't worth it. But this is something that's uh, essential to life. And I drink, if you watch the videos, a couple of 16 ounce bottles. And before I start, I drink a couple. Still dehydrated. And it's not really been hot outside. I ain't been sweating like that. You just never know. <clears throat> and I don't have the diabetes. And remember, it could be a, a precursor.
you should never, you should never be able to one hand with your bench pressing. Only if anything, but I don't really like to do too much chest on the total gym. I don't even know if there is a lot of chest to do on the total gym, Jonathan. I just do it off the thing like this. There is two that I do do that I do do. Not only right up to here where your chest, this extra I'm doing, I just do that for me. Just a little workout. We're moving to a goal, so I tell you, uh, I didn't eat much last night because I ate so much during Thanksgiving. But the day after that, right after I got done working out, man, let me tell you how I cheated. I took some cinnamon toast crunch cereal and I put it in, uh, uh, what are they? It was like a pint of ice cream. You know the ones. Yep. I just opened the top of the ice cream and like it was halfway full and then I dumped the cereal in and then I just skimmed the ice cream off the top of the cereal. It was so good. I was going to get some more but that's that's when I said no. Nah. <laughs> I'm trying to get these six pack ass. After I done ate about 500 calories in about four minutes. It was so good. I'm not cheating myself. I don't have to. I got a long way to go. What we're trying to do is just keep the body moving. We don't got to starve it yet. Boy, I ate so much food yesterday. I probably ate two pounds of mashed potatoes and gravy. <laughs> it was so good. That's it. get them for free in some places. Uh, let's get some 
chance to see some tricep. How much time we got?